Greetings, my loyal subjects. Tis I, King Redstonian, back with our next play. Today, we are back in Dongan Rompa. I have not moved since then. I'm pretty sure I have to leave. Leave the area. Yeah. I fixed my movement mistakes. I actually have my mouse now, so I can actually, you know, move somewhat efficiently. So I'm not too sure where I'm supposed to go. Well, I do. I have to go to the gym. Hey, look, a gym! Let me in. Let me in! Let me in! Okay. We're in the starting area now. Isn't that tasty? Hey, come God. On. I had no idea this Host Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. Thank you, Mondo. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Oh, this place is even worse! I don't know, Juvie, from personal experience, but I hope Juvie is worse than this. And why isn't anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is isn't bad. that, like, seriously not good? <laughs> They're just trying to spook us! They'll take those metal plates down later! I'm sure of it! All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. You are just a walking quotes book. You have like a book in your back pocket that is filled with like inspirational quotes and you're just only talking them. What? Well, hell. They like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, where's whoever called us here? Mondo, stop. No running. I too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait. Don't leave me here all alone. Okay, time for more tutorial action. You can press the tab key to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for late notice. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and I went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Lots of people. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See, told ya. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. In a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling, 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 rolling! What's up? What? Sorry, what? Hang on. Sorry, what? <laughs> here we go! And so the game begins! There he is! Teddy bear? Yep, exactly. I'm not a teddy bear. No, he's not. I am Monokuma! I thought my name was wrong. Hang on. R E D S T O N I A N. M O N O K U M A. Ah, oh, darn, mine's still longer. I am this school's headmaster. Hmm. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. And before my eyes, it was. I was seeing it was utterly incomprehensible. Not really. I mean, robots exist. To meet you all. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. Though that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright Say fear. Wow! Wha ah! That teddy bear can talk? <laughs> Calm down! I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey. I told you already, wow. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! I I'm your headmaster! I moved! Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the Marina Trench. Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. <laughs> bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we really must hurry and get started. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Quiet down now! Quiet down! Ah, okay, so... He has abandoned the gag. Good. Everyone stand at attention and bow! And good morning! You hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? You don't have to say it now back. Then. No, 
Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk about a bit about what your school life here will be like. You know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Really? As Headmaster, I've created a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the Graduation Clause. Now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another... Murder? Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it, it doesn't really matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave? As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. I bet that got your brain juices flowing! Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of what the world is gonna be, but I ran it wrong! Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, it's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? <laughs> yeah. Stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. Sorry, I cut you off, Monokuma. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go! Let us go! Let us go! Let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over! Listen! From this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead. Go on a kill, kill, killing spree! Alright, come on. How long you gonna keep this up? Mm -hmm. Eh? You, know? you got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? I'm right, yeah, because right? I mean, you know, the sauce some kind of tricking, alright? So, uh, like. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma. His voice rumbling like thunder. Yeah. Listen up, asshole! This shit's gone way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? What joke? The what do you mean? Like your hair? You son of a- <laughs> Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. The sound of floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. As he flew up Monokuma fast and straight like a bullet, he locked onto his target. You little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking Watch your language! <laughs> Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulation. Shut the fuck up. Let me out of here, I swear to Christ. Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of Stop shit. that! God damn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out, get rid of it! Huh? Hurry up and throw it! Don't know if her frosty stunned him in a silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. And he threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did. The hell? What the, 
That sure as shit wasn't a joke. Blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or games or visual novels or games about visual novels, about detectives or whatever. But when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. Matt, but, you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you! I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma! What, there's another one? You son of a bitch! You seriously just tried to kill me just now! Of course. Well, it is! I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the regulations, after all. I'll let you off with the warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat in the butt. This is hey, bad. so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep, monocumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget about the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're a cop breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That's not even a punishment, that's just wrong. Ah, <laughs> I just about threw up. Yeah. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta-da! This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the e-handbook. Ahem. Yes. Well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life. So don't lose it. When you start it up, it'll display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it while you drown it. It'll keep on ticking, 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 ticking. And thanks to the space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Sure. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, the same me. thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye -bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary li school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone. Leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We don't have to live here forever, K kill What? What just happened? Calm Everyone, down. we just need to calm down. Firstly, let's just take a second to summarize everything you just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone that's... <laughs> just abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a skull! And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is! All these ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake! Hmm. Right now, it doesn't really seem if it's real or fake. What matters is, so in other is words, there anyone here who's seriously considering all of this? To that, no one had to respond. Keeping quiet to myself, I looked at the others. They all just stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility, and that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted this vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us had become suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's 
a school of DESPAIR! Welcome to Despair. The end. Surviving students, 15. Spooky. Is that it? That's it! Alright! Well, I'll leave this video off here. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you care about me or any of my Crimson Kingdom Brotherhood, share this video. If you don't care about this, also share this video. We may have ourselves, but it's just the right thing to share this video. With all that being said, this has been King Redstonian, signing off. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah!